Queens of Kings, Rose Miller. Talking about you Queens of Kings. Okay, well, you moving around and holding down fort, just like what Tasha K told you what to do. See, black American women don't move like that. She married to an African, and she got to deal with how many sister wives raising her son over there, and he got all the money that Tasha, uh, a car to be looking for. So what's the sense of you having a conversation with somebody like Tasha K about black American men and the representation of black men and what you're doing and the message that you're putting down? And then you up here praising this white man that then scoop you up out of the script club, child. You was tricking with a Filipino oh, who you who you who you ripped a hole through the condom and got pregnant by, and then you aborted the baby because you saw you bread. Oh, Lord. Find bread in the club giving you the last bit of his little crinkle dinkle dollars because the white woman he was with got a baby and got him on so much child support, he don't know what to do. He just lay down for a living to do what he got to do to survive because he ain't nothing but a homosexual, not a provider. Oh, Lord. You flooding around and got the end cracking. Let me tell you something. I don't care, and I don't care who hear this, even in my own motherfucking household. Oh, when you in these interracial relationships, do what you got to do. Lee, let that cracker play the background. Let him do what he's supposed to do. But see here, you playing this game, Rose. You didn't expose Brett as a broke-ass cracker. And I do believe he's a homosexual. Matter of fact, didn't he just say that he wanted to go to night shift at that warehouse job that he got that I found? Child! Making $20 an hour, child! But what he doing so you can live in Hawaii? So with Rose Miller, how you going to go out and find a broke-ass cracker to divest to and sit there and talk shit about black men? Uh huh. You doing everything you doing to try to make that black man mad, and got his wife, and they got him divorced. Then programmed his kids. You flung around this white man, who the only time he touch you is when you making a skit video online. So that's your legitimate excuse to call yourself a content creator, child. Not you sitting up here and then docs Brett. Yes, indeed. I told you. you know, it's only a matter of time before these motherfuckers come out with their bullshit and you've been called them out. Here go Brett working his warehouse job. And yes, indeed, we find this warehouse job to know exactly how much they pay on Indeed, bitch. Oh, no. Uh -huh. Providing a life for my family so they can live in the most expensive... Look, look at him. Look at him. What he say? What he say? Now you doing shipping of produce in Hawaii. Okay. A bag of rice in Hawaii costs $10 if it costs $5 here. Okay? Mind you. And he's in a little small thing doing proto shipping. So he don't work for Costco's because you know Costco's shipping containers and trucks and everything. He ain't going to pass the IQ test to even be able to work at Costco. So he got to go over there and work for some Asian Indian people just using his whiteness to get a job because this bitch ain't got no motherfucking education. <laughs> No, nothing talking about he was supposed to get his pilot license. How are you supposed to get your pilot license? You can study for the bar, don't mean you're gonna pass that bitch. This motherfucker is dumb. And you got Elon Musk sitting there talking about black people should be pilots because they got the lowest IQ and you want to praise and worship Brett. Oh, he was supposed to get his pilot license. This bitch is ESE. That's why he working this cheap ass factory making $20 an hour. Yeah, bitch. 15 hours a day, not complaining. Providing a life for my family so they can live in the most expensive island in the United States. Oh, he worked 15 hours a day. Provide for his family so they can live in the most expensive state in the United 15 hours a day. I told you. So 15, you work 15 hours a day is 24 hours in a day. That means you ain't got number nine hours. Bitch, you supposed to sleep for eight hours. So that means if you ain't quote unquote working, you going home to Rose and ain't got time but to make a skit and take your motherfucking ass to sleep while you call her your nigga bitch. Uh huh, child. We finna clock you working in this cheap ass factory. Who you think you is, girl? Not you to block me. I'm my pink pill, bitch. I'm not finna beg you for no interview and be pathetic about it. And we gonna get to that too. But look at this broke ass motherfucker with this black jaw. See, I'm working 15 hours a day, not complaining, providing a life for my family so they can live in the most expensive island in the United States. Very masculine, very head of household, very demure. It sounds good. It sounds good. It sounds good. Listen to this. No, I don't mind helping out. I don't mind helping out my brother because as soon as Brett get there, she throwing that dry ass pussy food to his face and throwing herself at her instead of his child and him taking care of his responsibility because he's not a man. Then he she called you the full black one who she said your your hair look like motherfucking carpet and tell you to take care of her mulatto baby from Brett because he's a man and he's a provider and every and she only care about that man giving her some attention. You look desperate, motherfucker. 
That's just what you is. Praising and worship these motherfucking white men when you supposed to be getting your bag and keeping no cracker behind the scene. How the hell you gonna marry them and you ain't getting your reparations? And this motherfucker big rust in that ass, 48, 49 years old, and you ain't number 29, 30 years old. This nigga old enough to be your daddy, and he is your daddy, okay? <laughs> The only time he ate it from the back is when you made a video on your only fans and we clocked that. And it looked like he was ready to throw up because he didn't want none of that pussy because he's a botter boy. Oh. Uh-huh. Child. Not you to coach your son to say he enjoyed taking care of his your son. That's your son taking care of your son. So where this man childhood at? Oh, I forgot. Brett pick him up by the motherfucking neck and choke slam his goddamn ass. In any wrong move, your child gonna be dead with that big Viking pump. Oh no. Very young man. Very young boy. You see how I'm not trying to beat up my annoying bosom? Very self-control. Very emotionally intact. Child, please. Not you, bitch. Your kids ain't even hooked on phonics. They talking and signed to just like you. Adopting your personality at all. You bald-headed ass bitch. Don't nobody give a fuck about you. Waving your funk ass period blood and puss in that man's face. Every time you cook, we see some we see some red substance in the pan with whatever you cook it, and you make sure you see a, what in there. You just 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 like Joe Netta and Charlie. Oh no! <laughs> you know I'm on an island in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, walking my kids to school while my husband's at work. Mom. Very out the Mom. way, Mom. very in my own lane, Mom. very active wife and mother, very demure. Girl, please. I know you, you with your slow ass, you done picked up a dictionary and learned a new word. It's almost like when I first learned how to play golf, my ass was out there saying serendipity and it ain't have shit to do with it. Very demure. Me taking care of this. Very demure. Very demure. Very demure at the crack of your motherfucking ass. You bald headed bitch. You taking care of that crack. Very demure. He taught you a new word and now you're supposed to use it while he's sitting up that line saying he working hard 15 hours a day. Let me see how much. 15 hours a day to get away from your black ass. Uh-huh. Child. He ain't even got time to lay the pipe down with you if he working 15 hours a day. Uh-huh. He gone. When we see Brett come home from work and his ass got on an Under Armour tight shirt like he was at the gym in some shorts. That's the typical motherfucking way to see and spot a white punk. Oh, Please believe. Want me to tell you how I know? Because my ex look jelly. Oh, they be out there chasing and hunting, walking for it, do anything for it while he go to his black job. Uh huh. Let's talk about this black job that Brett got. Now, here, I done found it. Don't ask me how, but here is a job, a black job on the uh, 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 on a website called Indeed, so it ain't doxing. Okay, we know how to play it smart around here, Rose. While you got black women out here doing your dirty work to harass your black mama. Because your black mama know exactly how stupid you is. Uh-huh. You got a white husband with a black job. How you done divest it and you done step all the way back? Bitch, your kids ain't got no generation of wealth. And if they did, he going to make sure he take it from them and they ain't got nothing. Why? Because they ain't full white. Oh, no. You out here telling everybody you got a husband that's a provider. And statistically speaking, black men can't take care of you, child. You got a black, uh, uh, I mean, a white man sitting right here. That ain't making number twenty dollars an hour. Look at this, y'all. This how much? This is uh, allegedly. Y'all see this warehouse specialist where the produce come into? I mean, we we keeping in the yeah. bean, ain't us? Look, 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 look yeah. at this. Are we not keeping in the bean? Let Let's go back. Let's go back. Look at look at the job he got. Is that not rice? Is that not spam? Is that not cheap ass produce? He can't even work in a place or in a job. You know, at least we black people can get a black job where we can work and distribute the produce. They don't trust him at all. If anything, he going to eat all the strawberries. He going to eat all the grapes. He going to take, matter of fact, he going to take all the whipped cream and everything sweet and eat it and play with it got there and crack his ass. Oh, no. The other day, Brett said he want to go to the night shift. Why? Because the freaks come out at night. Now, no people told you not to play with me, Queen of King, with your bald headed ass. And now you on content. Brett got a black motherfucker job. Listen to this lighty cracking. That's all. See, I'm working 15 hours a day, not complaining, providing a life for my family so they can live in the most expensive island in the United States. 15 hours a day, not complaining. 15 hours, $20 an hour. Okay. Uh huh. What is that? Uh, uh, three, $300 a day. Okay. $300 a day, Hawaii. Shit, it's $10 for a loaf of bread. 
You ain't buying nothing. We ain't never. What y'all going to do after this, bros? You going to give him your credit cards? This motherfucker can't even get no credit card in his name, let alone anything. You say, oh, we are married. What's mine is yours and yours is mine. Fuck around and find out y'all divorced. It'd be like Tina Knowles had to pay Richard Lawson with his broke ass. Oh, Lord. Uh-huh. You got you a black job. Oh, uh, it got health benefits and everything and all that shit. I'm pretty sure you ain't. Brett, they didn't even fill out the application for it. You want to talk shit about black men, but you got your Viking, literally. A slow motherfucker, prehistoric, pre-education, Neanderthal motherfucker over there taking advantage of you. Who you think you playing with, girl? Child. Oh, Lord. Get the fuck up out of here. Okay? This is his black job. $21 an hour, okay? And, and if she want to go live and say, oh, denied is lying, well, guess what? You go to ND and look up every warehouse job with dealing with produce and groceries and everything. Guess what? Ain't number $21. Listen, you got to be spent $26.84. $26.84. Bread is slow. You think they finna get him that? Them Hawaiian people finna get somebody local that grew up and raised in Hawaii. That motherfucking job. He ain't making number at tops $20 an hour, sweetheart. Uh, 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 we'll give him $24 an hour. We'll give him that. Okay, while you at home crying, he's saying he late, but he got calm bubbles in his goddamn man. Oh, no. And he had to eat your food and then go to sleep saying he too tired because he been to wore himself out from all the men and all the calm bubbles that he done took. You about to listen. If uh, Queens of Kings, my best advice to you is don't get no black male that reminds you of Adonis or anything strong and muscular over in Hawaii. Probably a couple of Jamaicans he already fucking know. Fuck around and find out he with you for your Jamaican side and access to your men. And all that Jamaican shit that you say to him with that Jamaican dialect when he hitting it from the back with his short bot fly maggot dick having ass, he bend his ass over and repeat that to the Jamaican man because he's about to boy. Oh, Child. How long you want to go? Mm -hmm. There you have it. And we know you watching. You done had Judge Fifi to call and harass your mama. And she good at that. No shade. That's just her niche. I don't fuck around with that shit. That's her niche. I had to learn how to respect it. Mm -hmm. But you don't want to expose. You want to expose everybody in your life but Brett. Child, you just as dumb as the pink pill up there praising and worshiping white men. Up here saying the pink pill is supposed to listen to her because she's a pioneer in the game and all this shit. And she didn't divest. I remember when I first met the pink pill. It was around 2020 when the pandemic happened. I mean, Rose got on to YouTube during the pandemic, didn't she? So the pink pill, you about that life, 51, 50, 52, 58 years old, and you about that life, and you was running your mind for free on Clubhouse, arguing with black men, trying to prove black men trashy. Whole time you were going through a divorce with a white man who probably had a black job because you living in the Abraham Lincoln law cabinet with motherfucking phone holding up the silly. Let's go. She'll never hear it because I'm not going to give her my time. All right. She's not worth it, my time. She literally blew off the swirly godmother. <laughs> Thank you, guys. So anyway, here's the deal. So I was going to, what I wanted to talk to her about were two things. I wanted to talk to her about how you can get radicalized in this space as a person who's in an interracial relationship and you're happy and sweetheart give it up rose came up in your absence you was on clubhouse every day arguing with me arguing with everybody for free for free you was arguing instead of making content on youtube sweetheart if you ain't shit get the fuck out the pot so what you think that Rose supposed to come to you, you the fair godmother, and your white bears fail? Oh, Rose on her first. You think that, you know, and women, especially black women with these black jobs, child, they don't agree. And they do, they, uh, they, they going to fight. You think Pink Pill got some valid information for Rose to keep her Viking with that big punk over there? Oh, Absolutely not. Because her little stream being of a white husband gone, child. Oh, Oh, the man treats you well and you know that the majority of black women are not treated this way you want if you're empathetic you want other black women to experience this when they contact you when you just like you just be you're just living your life 
but black will contact you and say, I wish I could do what you did, or I was taught, or my mother said. Okay, my dad so she want a son, Rose. And, you know, there's no need to bring up her history, whatever. It's all a little lipstick alley, whatever. I'm not with all of that. But, but I want to go back a little bit. The whole time she talking, she got somebody back here that looked like he finna be Santa Claus in three years overseeing her like she got her a white master and he want to be in a puzzle or she wished that she could show off this Santa Claus looking motherfucking white man back here that's below average. A child. Water, electric. Uh propane gas whatever right huh we have a kitchen bathroom and shower okay i'm 40 acres of wilderness right so I, listen i don't care don't that look like foam up there holding up the ceiling in a in an abraham leaking cabinet that ain't a child you go get you a city condo or some shit they say to roger selling her since she broke too Maybe she need to go to a white man too, child. Cause don't know, don't know if they ain't wouldn't like that. But look at Pink. Let me tell you something. So she went live for over 58 minutes and then talking about and crying about why Rose didn't come and interview with her so she can sun her because she fit the one. She the fairy godmother of interracial dating and swirling when her husband had left her. If anything, it's giving Pink Pill. She won't break. But I do know one thing. Brett usually know how to shut the fuck up. And the minute he started opening his mouth, like how he did, like how he filmed himself at that warehouse job making $20 an hour, probably working a 12-hour shift, but lying saying 15 because he take three hours to sniff them poppers and have his co-workers to run off in his ass. Oh. Uh -huh. It ain't going to be too long before he have bumps all over his dick and balls like Jonetta and Charles too because he ain't nothing but about the boy. Uh, yeah, Pete, girl, child, this ain't nothing to brag about. That George Lincoln cabinet. Uh uh, girl, you got to worry about termites with that type of wood, too. So that's an added expense. You should have got in a townhouse or something. Uh uh, child. And now you want to bring this white man up here to talk. And this is why they don't fucking need to play the background. And you got a white lover, keep that bitch in the background. Don't bring him at the front because everything content. Tell you. Oh, no. I don't even see no hobbies, girl. All I see is YouTube. That's all you got. And the fact that you would disrespect your husband when he is your cash cow is crazy. That's pitiful. That's pitiful. And this is the girl who swirls. That's pitiful. So Pink Peel basically agree. Here, it's the thing. Pink Peel agree that Rose is pimping out and prostituting bread online for clicks and views because if she would buy herself if that big punk Viking with all that fat that want that want to be muscle, we ain't never see him make no weightlifting videos or nothing. We ain't never see him do none of that. Because if we do see him going to the gym, you ain't there. Because he got to spend one of them 15 hours a day that he gone or maybe three of them after getting out of work going to get that come in his ass at the local gym. Oh. Walking around like a bata boy. Okay, ain't lifting now. Waste. The only way he lifting is your black child finna choke slam him and kill your child by snapping his motherfucking neck. Oh, no. And Pink Pill press. Girl, you press. Even when you had your white husband, he was a stream being. He wasn't nothing to look at. He wasn't no Brad Pitt. Shit, me, I'm going to keep mine in the back, bitch. You do what you're supposed to do and stay back there and don't worry about what I'm doing and let me do my own black job. Ah, ah, ah. Rose up there taking care of him, bitch, please. Rose supposed to be set. If you're going to divest, be set and make sure you do any and everything with your money. I mean, Brett's supposed to not only have a job, but he's supposed to have life insurance, health insurance, dental insurance, benefits, everything in order for your full black kids. But you got him and you got them. Cause Brett ain't nothing but a big punk that was sleeping on the mattress of Ward and Child Support in the state of Georgia. Child, oh. we gonna pull up the records. Child, saying that, but I want to ask. It could be me. Maybe <laughs> I'm wrong. But let's ask a man, babe. Yeah. I'm gonna put the. I'm, here, I'm here gonna she put go. the mic on you. We'll put it together. Mm -hmm. Sweetheart, listen. Okay. If I'm a saw some white man and I'm in a relationship with that motherfucker gonna be rivaling Brad Pitt. Oh, he's so he has to be a European or some exotic. I ain't finna show that motherfucker be playing or anything. Not you up here in this leaking cabinet with phone holding up the ceiling, showing out this white man when this motherfucker look like Walter White from Breaking Bad. Child. Oh Lord. You don't follow the whole story, right? Yeah. 
No, a little new to the internet. <laughs> this is your first time on the internet. <laughs> Babe, do you know that there are almost 500 people watching you right now? Everybody, welcome. So why you could be grateful for the 500 people watching you? You just like Rose. Rose go to crying if Brett ain't there to eat them that period spaghetti that she cooked him the other day. And now you feel confident. You feel the best about yourself because your white man that looked like uh, uh, Walter from Breaking Bad is sitting up here. Okay. You better make sure he keep a firm diet because him and his age is easy for him to get fat. Okay. He going to be at the next at the mall. Okay, at the mall, making money, flipping, whatever. And Jessica, he said, I do. You going to take care of him just like Rose. Child. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Cute. All right. I think we should do a contest. Always Whoever games. guesses his real age will get a free item from Watered. So you done went live 58 minutes licking Rose from the back talking about her word about her and all of a sudden it's the first time you mention that you as a black woman and a business owner got product it ain't like you rose where rose get enough clicks and views that where she gonna make her money you ain't getting number 11 000 views on this pink pill you ain't make no bag off of this so why you ain't put no promote no product you ain't get no answer or none because same mistake you made on clubhouse okay the uk girls oh the black uk women packed her up so nasty packed up so nasty she had to stay on club Clubhouse for four years while Rose was getting her weight up and getting and escalating her million subscribers. She had to stay on there keeping explaining herself. You decided to work for free. This man right here, he looked like a Sanderson brother. Suck the soul up out your goddamn man. Oh, uh, uh, Cause he needs some with his motherfucker. Look like Breaking Bad. Child by. He looked like he fresh off of motherfucking the Grinch set. Look like a who? Mm. Watered body care. If you guys can guess his age. Great product, by the way. Yeah. So we'll let that go on. Yeah, we'll let that go. Question. Okay, yeah, my question for you is this. Let's double. Y'all said Rose lied. She might not be talking about me. She might not be talking about me. Because I ain't, I, I, uh uh. Uh-uh. Six figures. I don't know what a delivery driver makes, but my husband makes six figures. He's a oh, so she was, she was listening. She was listening the whole time. <laughs> she responded. Ah, she's so weak. Bitch, you weak. You better stay up out them comments section. You weak. Your husband ain't making no six figures. Your husband, listen, I'm going to go back a little bit. Your husband is not making no six figures. Your husband making $20 an hour. Yeah, I'm wearing. She lying. Oh my gosh, I wish you guys could. What color? Uh -uh. Period, dirty face, Capone. Our first videos when we announced the song. Please post the 100 emoji. If you remember our first videos when we announced that we were moving here, us saying the words out of our own mouths that we are staying for one year. That we used to. Nobody is buying a master class from you, sweetheart. It's not no shame. I see you all the time. I sent an email. Maybe Facebook would be better. Yeah, send me a Facebook. Brett ain't got no motherfucking job. Okay, we we sick of you lying. For the two dollars. Good day. Thank you for the two dollars. Next contestant. Anyone else would like to send money for me to see their corny comment before I block them? Please. <laughs> she please mad. To the chat and send them you mad. Now. You mad. She mad because I popped your goddamn ass. You're popped. Ro Listen, you're popped. You're popped, Rose. You're popped. Your marriage is fake. Your husband is a warehouse worker. You expose that. I don't give a damn what you told him to film and record. Oh, babe, film you at work saying this. The same way you told your sons what to say. You told him to say, oh, he's at work 15 hours a day and he provide for his family so they can live in the most expensive state in America. Twenty, You can't even live in Los Angeles for $20 an hour. You can't live in New York for $20 an hour. You can't live in Chicago for $20 an hour. 
Only place you can live is probably in, in butt fucked Egypt in Florida for twenty dollars an hour. That ain't shit. You done went to Hawaii and making twenty dollars an hour, sir. You are popped. You are popped, and now you got Rose acting just like your little bitch out there speaking for you. So why you out and about? She texts you worried about what little did not saying because she didn't play with me. And I told you, I told you I was the worst one. Cause see, I ain't gotta break no YouTube violations policy stocks. I'm gonna tell the truth about you. What you put online, you dumb enough to put it online. We gonna talk about it. And Brett exposed himself as a warehouse worker for produce import. You think he makes six figures importing? No, the man that owned the import business makes six figures. So how the hell he gonna make six figures? And that's all the people that own the company making. Fuck up out of here. You pop. She lying, y'all. She lying. She mad because Brett got a black job and she got to make all the money while she's sitting up there saying she don't want to date black men because Brett uh, it, it saved her in the stats and the statistics against black men. Shit, that means you a loser. You just gave up. Wonder why you got people harassing your old mama online. Where your daddy at? Who touched you? What your daddy did to you? For you to go ahead and do this, and now you over there with Brett, who got a black job. Adonis make more money than him. Oh, I got two kids with him, and he on child support. He the stats and the statistics, girl, by. You just said that shit just to excuse yourself for why you obsessed with this white man and you doing anything and everything. Ain't no fucking way in hell that I'm going to divest away from my own race, and that crack ain't going to take care of me. Child, call me whatever you want. Shit, Rose, you bet I was selling it for $40 to the nigga instead of over there with that Viking who got calm bubble coming out of his head every day he come home to you. Child. Go ass up out of here. Bye. I don't care nothing about her line. Talking about she got a course and everything. Girl, bye. You on content. <laughs> Anyways, please hit the like. Please hit the like. Let me know what you guys think about Rose in the comment section below.